Hi everybody, welcome back for another round of Tool Jitsu. And um, we are going to talk about the power transfer. We're going to look at the we're going to look at the power transfer of a fist, a hammer fist, and a hammer. Now, as you can see here, I wrote the word meth. Uh, the reason why I wrote the word meth in the last video, um, the uh, Tool Jitsu concept uh, number three. Um, I made a point in the comments that you should never rely on pain compliance. Uh, so sort of this idea that you, you you hit somebody or you did something to them or even kind of kneeing in the groin or whatever, just based on pain, that pain's going to stop them because there's certain people, if they're on a certain substance or other substances, pain, it's not going to register with them. Uh, when it comes to meth in particular, meth was developed originally as a drug for the military. Uh, to keep soldiers uh, awake and, and violent and alive and basically killing uh, killing machines for, for days, for days on end. Be up for three days, then sleep for three days type thing. So um, I'm just going to show you. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little bit of a risk for this video. Um, I'm going to hit this hard, uh, relatively hard. And the idea, I know that this isn't super scientific or anything. Um, I just want to be able to describe... Um, you know, this is kind of wrapped in tape to sort of keep it in place, kind of like a real dynamic situation um, to, to give you an idea of what, what kind of damage, even when you're doing the step through the bear march, when it comes to the hammer, just show with the hammer, the, the fist, the hammer, fist, and the hammer, just to give you a little bit of idea. I don't have a whole lot of space in here um, to move. In fact, maybe I'll just move this back a little bit without messing up too much of the other stuff. Um, just to get a little bit of space to uh, be able to demonstrate this properly. So more to the point, be able to generate some of the power um, to make this uh, somewhat real life-ish. So. so here, um, I mean, I got the tape on here, but I can see some fluid coming out. Let me show it up here a little bit. You got the smooth part, yeah. We're uh, dripping some fluid there. So, again, you're operating on pain compliance alone. Again, that, that punch, that straight punch. Again, not really for, you can bend up your wrist and bust your knuckles, a bunch of stuff if you really don't know what you're doing. So, just to show the power transfer of that, you kind of got an idea of number one. Number two, um, the, the hammer fist. Nice thing about a hammer fist is that you're able to get a little bit more of the surface area. If you're starting to hit the jawline with a hammer fist, you're not busting up your hand on, on the cheek or the hard parts or anything like that. So in the last video, I showed you that the chopping motions were in those sensitive areas. So we're just going to, uh, again, with, with a little bit of strength. The difference is with a straight punch, you're coming from this straight line forward, the hammer fist, you're, you're aiming for around this part and you're coming down from over top. Um, this might spin this a little bit, so I'm just gonna try and come from uh, the side a little bit so I can hit this straight on. So, yeah, there we go, I have a little bit of a dent in there on the T. Again, if this was uh, somebody who was on meth, there's still, again, you might have done some damage, you might be scrambling the brain a little bit, getting a little bit of reciprocal brain, uh, a little bit of the brain rattling around inside there. Again, the whole idea is to end the attack, end uh, the, the enemy's ability to attack you within seconds. And you've got to do that either by uh, stunning them, kind of giving them a little bit of a great reset, um, if you're hitting them in the vagus nerve, um, rattling around the, the head there to get the concussion. Um, that's what's literally going to stop somebody. It's not meant to kill. Um, the criminal code talks about, again, using force that's likely um, to cause grievous bodily harm or death. Um, again, go see a lawyer about that stuff. Um, now, without further ado, hammer. Let's just reholster there. So, gives you a little bit of an idea. Obviously, it's not the same bone density or anything like that as a human skull. Um, but you, you get the point, right? Just a little bit of a test. There's a million billion uh, gun videos and bullet, you know, gel torso videos and 
things like that out there. Um, so this isn't anything different. Again, um, you got to have a legal or moral justification to do anything in life. What you do or you don't do in life is, is your own responsibility. It's your own liability. But that's just a very simple demonstration of the power um, of tool jitsu, uh, regardless of whether people are on substance or not. Um, that guy's having a bad day. Bye for now.